everyone welcome to watch your painting this video i'm just going to show you how to apply some transfer some decals now i don't think you can get these sheets anymore but luckily benson had some and decals are available in various shapes and sizes i think you can get like third party ultramarine blood angels space marine stickers these days and you can pick them up up off of ebay as well but i don't think they come in the boxes anymore i think games workshop have moved away from it so i'm just going to show you how to use these water transfer stickers so you're going to need a little pool of water here's my water you're going to need the stickers obviously something to stick them to i've got an ultramarine a red one and then i'm just got a cocktail stick to hand a super sharp knife i've just changed the blade to this and then a pair of tweezers just in case i need them so for this one i don't know what any of these stickers mean i'm not going to pretend i do i know this is a a red angel a blood angel so we are gonna we're gonna stick on some of these blood angel ones i don't know where they go or what they're for but let's put one on one on his oh he's off camera i think one on his shoulder and we'll go for something on his knee down here just to finish off this model and make it look super cool. So we'll take the super sharp knife and we'll cut out. Should we get, I don't, characters? They're all the same, right? Does it not matter which one? Because I think he's a intercessor. But they all look the same. So let's say that doesn't matter. Let's just get an easy one, easy-ish one. So take a little bit of time very careful with the sharp knife and just cut out this sticker now i went quite wide there because obviously i've got a camera in my way and i didn't want to lose a finger with this brand new sharp blade so i'm going to just get a little bit closer i feel like the closer i can get the less noticeable edging decal will be so it's super hard to hold on this chopping board nice and close try not to obviously cut any of that black away whatsoever but yeah, just removing lots of this excess. Now, it is my first time ever doing this, so I'm not quite sure how visible the excess is going to be, but I have a feeling the less, the better. We'll find out soon, though, and we will do whatever it takes to make this disappear anyway, so I might touch it up some paint, get rid of the edges, etc. Let's get that knife out of the way, super sharp, and get rid of all this excess and that's it so now we have a transfer that's free got that away and we just pop, pop it in the water i'm going to leave that for about 20 30 seconds just to make sure it's nice and wet while that's slurping that up i'm just going to apply a little bit of water to this marine's shoulder just so we can move that around i could slurp up any water there we go just make sure we can move it around nice and freely. Just get this whole shoulder wet. See how this is coming along. So there's the transfer free. Then we're just going to place that on his shoulder. Like so. Let's get the cocktail stick next. Try and line this up. So I'm going to try and put a slice in the plastic just there at the top because it's, it's struggling to take shape. So hopefully I can just add a little one there. Yeah. Yeah, definitely slice that. That's helping it bend a little bit more freely. Let's not use the knife so I don't scrape off all the paint. about where we want it and then leave that to dry let's just get a little bit of kitchen paper just press that gently down and then yeah leave that one alone it's looking about how i would like it giving a giving a nice finishing touch to this simple paint job and then i'll just whiz through but we'll we'll free up a we'll free up one of these skulls whatever these squad marking skulls are for, but we'll put a skull on his knee, so I'll speed through this bit. Right, with the teeny tiny skull that's impossible to see, I'm just going to, I've trimmed around it as bad as well as my eyes can cope. It's so difficult to see which way up it is, but that's the skull side up, come here little guy. And I'm just going to 
put a little slit in it because it's got to go around his knee. I think I need to just slice it in a bit of a cross to allow it to sit flush around his curved knee. So we'll just put, I'm just going to put a little cross, a little nick in every side. And then we're going to get the water back and just submerge him in there as best I can. Oh, he's, a, he's sprightly. He's all over the place. Come on, let's get the cocktail stick involved. Yeah, but, oh, he's already coming off. So then let's just try and apply that onto his knee, like so. And let's move him into position, out like that. And you can see the little nicks I did in it. It's just allowing it to bend around his knee a little bit better. There we go. Again, I'm just going to get a bit of kitchen paper. Just dry it light, gently. I moved it slightly there. It was a bit of an awkward angle, so I'll just move it back, keeping it nice and flush. And then once more, just allow that to dry in position, and I'll be back in a bit. Right, now that's dry, we're just going to use a little bit of matte varnish, just all over it, just to really make sure this is glued down. Uh, matte not to give it any shine but yeah I'll basically give this a nice coat spread this around nice thin layer but yeah just as a bit of a sealant on it so we keep this transfer down it'll also hide a little bit of the raised edge of the transfer as well you can build up the paint just a, just a teeny tiny bit but it'll help so We'll do exactly the same on this little knee transfer down here. So again, just using this kind of like glue, but also just to try and start masking the raised part compared to the paint. Once more, we'll just wait for that to dry. That's after the varnish has dried, and I think I can just see the transfer just around the edges, just slightly. So I've got some of the base coat, the original coat, and I'm just going to just touch it up really around the where it joins the miniature. And just paint over the top of the transfer and make the lines disappear. Just really take my time with this bit. It's kind of almost like making the transfer a stencil. But then I'm not going to paint on the black bit. And then the skull where I did those slits, the top slit was visible. So again, I just added a little bit of white paint over the top. And then you can't tell the skull. The transfer and this one's disappearing quite nicely. It might take a couple of coats, but it'll be what it is. And then as you can see, the skull I've already made disappear. So I'll just touch this up and I'll be back in a minute. And with that, guys, the... Uh, the transfer's pretty much disappeared. It's kind of hard to tell that that's not painted on. It was super quick, super easy, barely an inconvenience, really, really nice finishing touches on the models. Hopefully you'll agree. Let me know what you think in the comments. I think there's a reason they don't make the transfers anymore. They are a little bit fiddly, but I mean, you saw me do that for like pretty much the first time. So not that difficult, was it? Thank you all ever so much for watching. I'll see you again soon. Hang on, hang on. So that's the skull. All really hard to pick up. Oh, I had it. Oh, come on. Right. Oh. Right. Ugh.
There we go. Oh. Let's just pop it in the water. That's the skull cut away. 